Hey, welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Here's another, uh, we're gonna do another edition of reviewing uh, underrated tools and tools from, from the past, basically. This one's not, this tool right here is not so old, but it is a few, year, a few, few years old. Uh, I, the only reviews I've seen about it, about this instrument, is from uh, Milwaukee themselves. I've seen a few videos on YouTube about it, but I haven't seen nobody else that, that really purchased the, 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 this unit. And this this is the, uh, the Milwaukee fluorescent light bulb and ballast tester. Now, I know that uh, nowadays there's a lot of LEDs that doesn't need ballast, but there are there's still some fluorescent bulbs that's out there. And if you ask me, I, I, I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon, the fluorescent bulbs, even just, just like the con, uh, incandescent bulbs. I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon because uh, even though they burn a lot of, you know, uh, 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 use up a lot of wattages and, uh, you, you, you know, they they have so many of them pre-made that they just don't want, you know, if you just dispose of all of them, the company will be losing money. So they'll sell them to those little uh, discount stores and you might get five for dollar ninety nine and things like that. So you're gonna it's gonna be a long time before they get rid of those kind of bulbs. But even fluorescent bulbs and, and ballast, um, they're gonna be around for a while. Now this tester right here is just for that. It tests fluorescent bulbs, no matter the size, I mean or the length, it tests those bulbs. Also it tests the ballast. And how would you do that? Right now it's on. Uh, you turn it on like this, and you would you would you would extend this. It goes up so high. I don't um, I don't know just how high, but uh, but it goes higher enough that you don't have to really get on the top a top of a um, you know like a six foot ladder. You don't have to get to the tip top of it, but it, it, it extends higher enough where you can touch the bulb. The bulb kind of sit in this cradle, but you hold it you you hold it on the bottom of the bulb and you press this test button right here. Well, if it comes back, red, this green light goes off and it lights up red to mean the bulb is bad. But if, if, but if it lights up green on both sides, the bulb is good. And you can also test the, ba test the, uh, the ballast uh, with, with, with this also. Um, you could, and, and also put the, the, the bottom of the pins uh, you test the ballast the same way. Okay, and you also can test the pins uh, with this too. The pins on the back of the ball, the bottom of the ball, you just put them in there, press the test button, and it'll let you know if that bulb is good. Now, the way you test the ballast, you can just, you move this to the far either end of the ball where the metal part is, and you can touch where, the, where like have metal, the, the metal around the fluorescent ball, and hit the test button and that will test your ballast. This is a, this is a real, uh, real handy device. It didn't have a flashlight on it. Let me see, a work light on it, you know. Uh, but um, this is a real handy, handy tool. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't used it in quite some time, y'all. I mean, it, it's been, but it, but it has paid for itself. It saved me time and it saved me money. It has paid for itself. Um, but I haven't used this man. I can't tell. I, I have to tell the truth. And it had to be about a good. Oh man, close to a year, I guess. Close to a year that I've used this too. But uh, I've used. But be, before then, I've used it a whole lot, and it saved me a lot of time, and it made me a lot of money. So uh, the the name of this is the Milwaukee fluorescent lighting tester. Catalog number, that's if you're looking for that catalog number, is uh, 2210 20. Let me let you see that if y'all guys can see that. It's a uh, fluorescent, I mean, fluorescent, Milwaukee fluorescent lighting tester, catalog number 2210 20. And, um, you know, I don't know if, um, let me see, I mean, I mean, I'm sure you can find them still on the, on the market. I paid I paid over hundred some dollars for this thing, but it paid for itself. It, it, it really did, and um, this is one of those specialty test tools that you need because if you any one of you guys know who been who been uh, been electrician for a long time, if you changing out 
uh, a, a, a ballast or a, working on a, on a lighting fixture, a fluorescent lighting fixture. It could be the bulb. Sometimes it's that easy. Sometimes it could be the ballast. It be that easy. Sometimes it could be the bulb and ballast. There's nothing worse than climbing a ladder, getting up there, changing the bulb that you think is just the bulb. Now you got to get back down again, and you have to go take the, the, the fixture back loose again and get to the ballast. Uh, you know, but this would save all that time and, and also save a lot of money. And you guys know that um, saving time equals more money when you're doing electrical. So, but anyway, this is, it's, it's nice. It's, it's, it's quality built. This is what you see right here. This is not rubber. It just looks like this, like a hard plastic, but it's, but it's a quality plastic. It's not cheap plastic and uh, it's nice and sturdy, nice and solid. I like it takes uh, four AA batteries, um, and you know I, I, it comes in this case. Let me get this case for you. It comes in this case right here, the Milwaukee case. It's a nice little pouch, a protective case that it comes in. I like it, and uh, it's a tool that you will want. You may not always use it, but it's there when you need it, and it'll bring you. It'll make some extra money for you. If you if you working somewhere, you know. So, uh, uh, this is a must-have tool that you need. This is a must-have tool, and I think that um, you'll come to appreciate a tool like this if you've been you've been an electrician for a long time, and it would make you money. So, don't want to hold you guys up no more uh, any longer. I want to tell you thank you for all the all the comments. Thank you for all of my subscribers. Thank you for all the guys that are hitting that hitting that hitting that like button. And for those of you who haven't hit the hit uh, hit the like button, please do because I'm trying to get the uh, get the channel to grow, and that'll help me out. So, you know, if you gained any kind of value from this video whatsoever, hit that like button for me, man. It, it don't it don't cost you a thing. It's for free. So, you know, all the subscribers that I have, I should have more like hit uh, more uh, likes than it than my video have. My videos have so, uh, you know. Thanks again, man, for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. So, um, until the next video, you guys take care and peace out.